we go. Uh, that's right. Tune into another talk serial splat edition. Yo, that's what's up. Wingman G in the house. Let's set up this camera right. How do we flip this thing around? Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Clearing the vocal cords, yo. We got some special things happening today, including the most special thing in the whole universe. Wingman G Sipes, the guru of the gurus, blesses, the, blesses us up with his presence today. Mm, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him. And I love you all. Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> we got a special guest today. I want to tell you all about her. I'm going to pull her up here. She is awesome. She does a lot of stuff. And I'm going to see if she's able to um, get on here right now with us. Let's see. Where are you, honey? Anyways, did you all see the new Splat episodes? I gotta get some water. Don't go anywhere. <coughs> Here we are. And do you have your vegan cereal ready to go? Remember I showed you last time how to make it? You can do any kind of, you know, fruit, whatever it is. Anything like that. And you just add some uh, granola, some fruit, whatever. You got your vegan cereal, that's what's up. We've got Amber Connor. Her IG is golden, golden gnarly girl. <laughs> Are you there, Amber? I wanna link you in right now. Let me, I'm looking for you right now. Ask to join, honey. Ask to join. Come on, Amber. Where are you at, Amber? You're our special guest today. Amber, Amber, Amber. We're gonna learn all about Amber Connor today. Um, do y'all know Am Amber Connor is? This is kind of some of her stuff right here. What? Amber, where are you? Anyways, in the meantime, how has your 4th of July been? Every day is 4th of July for me. Every day is independence. Freedom is the most precious thing you could ever give yourself. And uh, that's what it's all about. That's why I love making cartoons, because it really is this realm of being able to have anything and everything at your fingertips to create anything in the whole universe that you want, just like we do right here on the Splat channel. And Splat is one of those characters where he's just a free soul, man. He's a free soul. Amber, where are you? We want to get you on here. I don't see. Oh, there you are. Bam. Amber. Amber. Here we go. Yeah, I just had you join. Waiting for... Golden girl, girly. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I didn't know if it was going to happen. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Inspired. Do you have a bowl of vegan cereal ready to go? I forgot to say. <laughs> I didn't get that memo. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> What's your vegan cereal? Actually, I already had it today. I had, um, it was a side with uh, blue algae and oh, that was so good. Wow. You are way awesomer with your vegan cereal than I am. <laughs> time. Mm -hmm. You're cutting in and out. I'm wondering if it's me or if it's you or if it's Instagram. What was your favorite? Oh, no. All right. Ask me again. I'm moving. I'm moving. I said, what was your favorite cereal growing up? Oh, so honeycombs. I know that's kind of boring, but a lot of honeycombs. And what's the um, pops that gets really squishy? I think that's <laughs> pops. <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't that exciting. <laughs> really quick and mushy. 
Yeah, exactly. But the weird <laughs> thing is, I don't like that. I don't like to, uh, like, the milk, the slurping afterwards. No. Unless it's Gross. Slurp vegan milk all you want, that's for sure. Heck um, yeah. Oat milk. About, that's my jam. Or cashew. Tell Either us about one. your career, who you are. How did, how did you get into the cartoon world? Um, let's see. Uh, who am I? Where am I from? Um, I'm from Ohio. And uh, I started taking acting classes out there. Yes, you can. You can take them in Ohio. And uh, I joined a little agency. And uh, they started putting me out for voiceover work. And uh, I started booking it, strangely, because I thought my voice was absolutely terrible. So, um, but I started booking little kid work, working with a lot of 10-year-olds. And then I had to drive to Pittsburgh, which is almost three hours to take any kind of animation classes. But I oh. fell in love with it, and I decided, I'm going west. Here I am. <laughs> Very <laughs> west. <laughs> like, almost in the ocean west. <laughs> Tell me about what, what have you been working on? How do people know you now more than ever? Um, well, most people uh, know me from uh, Tales of Berseria. Um, ah! All right. No, these phones. I almost lost you. There we are. <laughs> Better. <laughs> um, most people know me from the video game uh, Tales of Berseria. I was um, Lofi or Fee. Um, cute little boy lead character that's with you and through the entire game and uh i voice a lot of little boys so um promise neverland yeah. um little boy in that phil um i'm just finishing voicing two other little boys on a project i can't speak about of course on two projects i can't speak about you know how that goes and uh, Fire Emblem was also a big one. I voiced a girl in that, um, Faye. So a lot of people know me from that as well. Right on. How yes. Did you, how did you ask you Tupo World? <gasps> so it was the uh, first thing I booked in LA animation wise. Long, long time ago. Yeah. I remember your band playing at the rap party. <laughs> <laughs> and if I could sing it all, I would jump right in there with you. In <laughs> uh, one of your character voices, I want you to freestyle. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> freestyle? Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. I came here today to talk to Robo Splat. Talking to Robo Splat about this and that. Uh, well, rapping ain't my jam, but Amber Connor's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Am I in the band? You're in the band. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Have you seen new Splat uh, episodes that have been? Uh, yes, Splat is awesome. Let's check this one out. Please, raw Splatheads are considered sentence. Hey, if you believe, and I promise to cut your next guy. And then Splat for president. <laughs> I'm so glad Splat finally came out. You are so rad. Although I love. Uh, Michelangelo was always my favorite Ninja Turtle, so I was super excited when I was like, ah, Ninja Turtle, Beast Boy, and where is Wingman? Wingman, he's, he's not getting his day rate, so he only gives us a little bit of a, a little bit of screen. <laughs> a little taste. <laughs> Your Wingman is tiny compared to mine. My, my Wingman's head is like the size of your Wingman. Where is he? He's downstairs sleeping in the sun. Oh, that's what's mm -hmm. up. That's right. Check out another episode, episode six of, um, this is Splatism. Let's check this one out. This is the first yes. time. 
some questions from the audience here we go yeah. hey amber what else did you watch growing up from unwall no wow other than rugrats well let's see i'm gonna date myself i'm gonna make myself seem really old if i tell you what i used to watch ah i always wanted to be smurfette because i watched a ton of it was like the smurfs and um, gummy bears and um, My Little Ponies and um, Voltron and uh, yeah, Masters of the Universe was like huge when I was growing up. Just like all of that good stuff that's all been kind of, I think it's all been redone. Uh, everything, right? Uh, everything. Everything's redone. Good thing and sometimes that's a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> I got a question for you. What's your favorite remake? My favorite remake? Anything. Of anything. Of anything? <sighs> I just watched a really not favorite remake the other day. Um, I shouldn't say what it is. It was very, very bad. Um, but let's see. I don't know. I mean, at first, I didn't love the My Little Ponies remake just because visually it's so different. And I think like, you know, it kind of held a place in my heart and then it really grew on me. And yes, Thundercats also. Because <laughs> like I saw someone just type that. But I think I, I really love My Little Ponies. Like it really grew on me. Yeah. Uh, Killer Tofu says, I watched a lot, but I was both I was born in 1996. Hmm, she's telling us her age. Yeah, I feel like we don't need to, we're the eternal ones. We don't really, uh, the, our, you know, exactly. we're eternally, uh, you know, and never aging, so. Yeah, forever young. <laughs> Let's have some. Ah, oh, yes, Teen Titans go. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. Mine um, too, Michelangelo all the way. Oh, your favorite Greg Sipes character? I think so. I don't know though, Beast Boy. Ah! Mm. Oh, Mama, stop it. So good. <laughs> <laughs> and you do, uh, you had on camera. Oh, you froze. Yeah. There you are. Yeah, yes. I've, I've done uh, to be a part of amazing movies like Fast and Furious, and I've been a regular in all kinds of TV shows, like the middle. middle. I've been in uh, over, I think, 160 different television shows and movies now, and over probably 1,500, 1500 episodes of animation. That's pretty amazing. Now, <laughs> And it's just the beginning because it's creating and, and uh, or writing. But I know the I know the now from every angle. Yeah. Stepping in front do. of the microphone, having the cartoon you know done without me touching it to now be part of every part of the process from you know coming up with the ideas for the cartoons, character character designs, the animatics. Uh -huh. Such a long, long, long process and such a tremendous amount of energy to make anything happen. That's why yeah. what Oski's done with with, uh, with Platt over the years because he's so well developed and she's done so many amazing uh, things that you get to watch here on Instagram. 
you know, what that she did with Splat, the Splatchinary and all the, all the yeah. different things. And there's even more that we don't even know about that that she'll reveal sooner than later because I think it's all very exciting stuff that Mama Arlene is putting together for Splat. And, um, but it, it, it's not easy. Anybody who thinks making cartoons is easy does not know what's going on. No. <laughs> no. Not at all. <laughs> you have any crushes growing up? Celebrity crushes? Cart or you do cartoon crushes? Cartoon crushes. Cartoon crushes. Um, you know Thundercats all the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean Lion O is pretty awesome, but I also loved the what are the what are the names again? Is it Kit and Cat? That oh. yeah, little kids. But anyway, yeah, definitely, definitely Thundercats. Yeah, Lion O was the coolest. Lion O. I know. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, I like April O'Neil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> she is one cool lady. <laughs> Can't blame ya. <laughs> the buff dude. The buff dude. Guess, Buff dude. I guess it's a, they're talking about your your Lionel. Oh yeah, of course. Have you checked Splatmix out? Oh yeah, what what's this? Oh. Yeah, what is I it? Oh uh, yeah, but maybe um you should. See it. I think I've heard of it. Cool music remix. Yeah. Splat Splat. You know Splat. Cool. splat. He loves music so much. She's actually Heck yeah. Stuff on the Instagram. Flat dialed in. We can pull up splat music. I think she made a really cool splat related song. Oh yeah. That's what somebody said. Let's see. It's a song they made using your voice. Oh yeah. Yeah. Where is it? I want to watch it. Song I made using your voice, Lil, L Liza Chupo. I know I've seen that before. Oh, well, shut the chat. I'll check it out later, and then maybe we can have her on next week as a. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thumbs up. Is Liza Liza Chupo? Um. So, yeah. What about, what about uh, what are you doing with your 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 daily life in this? <laughs> in my in my quarantine bubble. <laughs> yeah, getting you through like they're getting me through. Oh yeah, I mean I I create I've had a home studio for years, so the transition wasn't like a panic thing for me. I was like, oh okay, this is uh awesome because I'm already set to go and uh, so I've been working about the same and um, yeah and also just like I think like anybody else I think most people are like going through old stuff and rearranging what's going on in their homes and backyards and I'm enjoying the uh, patio a lot I don't know I'm just kind of chilling and keeping my mind right you know yeah, you got to be mentally, physically, spiritually healthy these days. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Cartoons have the ability to help, you know, uh, set our minds around. I love making cartoons and being part of the animation world because cartoons will say, it's actually, at a certain age, I mean, all ages, essentially, we're influenced by what we watch, what we see. Yes. Cartoons get to us most vulnerable, most sponge-like part of our development we really have so much to do with reality. Yeah. Yeah. Get to the youth of the world and, and make a new a new world that we get to Absolutely. Uh, the Nuxia BHM like BB Ray is. <laughs> Can Amber, guess? can you sing? <laughs> uh, no.
not well, although I have to say, I did get booked for something recently and they were like, so you're going to be singing. And I'm like, okay. And we just kind of do. I wish I had taken singing lessons. Um, I'm not as tone deaf as I thought I was. <laughs> Maybe you could give me singing lessons, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look at that! Yo, 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 yo! <laughs> yo, what's up? <laughs> You're really good at uh, improv. <laughs> Thanks for watching. much uh, music is medicine. You know, that's why I, I think it's also another special reason why car especially shows like Teen Titans Go and even Splat, there's so much music integrated and uh, it just makes mm -hmm. makes the world go around. Music and car Yeah. We need this, especially in times like now, you know? Man, I just can't imagine what life quarantine would life would be like I don't know about for you but for me without there's music every day it's cartoons and shows and just you gotta find those pick-me-ups sometimes I know I need it all the time mm -hmm. your favorite? Hmm? who's your favorite musician my favorite musician yeah all right we'll see Who's my, you know, I don't know that I have a very favorite musician, but I do have a very favorite song that just kind of picks me up when I hear it. And it's um, Led Zeppelin, Over the Hills and Far Away. I don't know why. Have you, do you listen to Led Zeppelin at all? I like Led Zeppelin. Uh, yeah. Just that song. I don't know why. It doesn't matter what mood I'm in. Put that song on and even just like the beginning notes of it just like pick me up i feel like ready to go <laughs> that's up we'll end the whole episode with the, your led up yeah. over the hills and far away that's up. That's, uh, uh, is that let's see Not Stairway to Heaven. No. Over the hills and far away. Dun, dun, dun. Play Led Zeppelin over the hills and far away. <laughs> Thanks for being on Talk Serial, Mama. We appreciate you. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you. you over right here on the Splat channel. We'll see you next week at 11, and don't forget to tune in all week long with new Splat content. Let the music pick you up, and cartoons will save the world. You know what it's all about. Yes. Makes me feel good already. You got good <laughs> Yes. <laughs>
Oh, that's perfect. Hold on, hold on. I got Okay. Here we go. Let's talk.